Redditors who got married before sex. How was her first time with Urso? Were you disappointed? It was great. It took us a couple days before we could really make intercourse work. But we got to spend time exploring each other's bodies and learning what feels good. We still had a really good time. We both got married with very gentle expectations of each other. We knew that sex, like most other activities with a partner, takes time and practice and communication to get better at. So we did that. Married nearly 8 years now. And sex is even better than it was on our honeymoon. No regrets. Don't you dare have a healthy loving relationship on Reddit. Don't you know where you are? Oh, shoot, you're right, uh, I mean, my wife demanded that I have the body and the sexual abilities of a harlequin romance novel character, while knowing nothing about her own body because we're Christians. And I was repulsed because she didn't look like an 18-year-old model with a personal trainer and Photoshop. We hated each other right away, and she filled for divorce eight months later took me for everything I had. And now I'm living out of my car. Asterisk, phew, asterisk, nailed it. To be totally clear, this was a joke. Zach, too meta for me. It was awkward and kinda awful. Why does it look like that? Is a question that really sticks with you over the years. Do you regret waiting? In a way, yes. Had we not waited, I might have realized before we got married that I shouldn't have married Hi Monsieur. This what I fear about sex after marriage thanks for the reply. It really wasn't until we were facing each other naked that I realized I wasn't attracted to. Hi Monsieur 5 hours after saying our vows. I knew a Mormon guy that was so repulsed by his wife's body on their wedding night that he divorced. Her. He was a huge jerk to begin with. Yes. I mean you. Zach. Fuck you Zach. Er. Yeah, but it's a longish story. She was a Christian so we waited. I wasn't but was still a virgin. Spent my wedding day so excited about the evening to come. We didn't that evening. We didn't the whole honeymoon. Didn't for about 9 months after marriage and only eventually did because she wanted to conceive. She laid there, motionless, silent, and when I finished put her legs in the air and used tissue to cork it in. This right here is why I'd run the other direction when no sex before marriage is mentioned. Sex definitely isn't everything, but I couldn't imagine marrying someone that wasn't at least somewhat on the same page as I am sexually, and there's only one way to find that out unfortunately. As a Christian, I'm really sad that so many of us seem to believe that sexual arousal pleasure is inherently sinful. Like, God made sex feel good because you're supposed to enjoy it. I say, God made in a non-literal sense. Evolution is real. Our dead bedrooms. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints so it's part of beliefs of chastity. Before marriage, and no, it wasn't disappointing at all. After our reception we were sweaty and gross so we decided to shower together and it helped dissolve any built-up tension. Is she your first wife? How many wives are you going for? Yup, first wife. And just the one because we haven't believed or practiced polygamy in over 100 years. Find a different joke, like our magic underwear if anything. Edit. Typo. Magic underwear? Finally a religion for me. Rip your doorbell for the next 50 years. Could be innocent ignorance. The small sex that practice polygamy make the news more than LDS does. Would you eat at a restaurant by the name Cheesy Toast of Butterday Crepes? Y'all sleeping on this joke. My wife and I are devout Catholics. So we waited. It was a little awkward the first time. Because we didn't know what we were doing. But eventually we got the hang of it. Oh man. You know what they say. If you find a Catholic couple that enjoys sex, they better have some spare bedrooms. It was just like the simulations. Another happy ending. Not great, totally inexperienced. Ended up with an infection. Greater than ended up with an infection. That's a really inappropriate way to refer to a pregnancy. Can confirm a serum infection. Wasn't disappointed at all. So, 
for our honeymoon. We rented a house in the mountains for a week-long rate. Only $800 for 7 days so it was a really good deal since it's typically a winter destination. There was a hot tub inside and a rug in front of the fireplace. So anyway, the guy comes back late from dinner. So we're waiting, and he starts telling us how to work all the appliances. I'm thinking to myself, dude, I've been waiting years for this moment. I'm sure I'll figure out the dishwasher later. We think he was doing it on purpose. Just to try to be funny. Anyway, wife was beautiful. Still is. It was amazing and no disappointment whatsoever. Over 25 years later, we still have a regular sex life. The best part is that there is nobody for us to compare each other to since we were both virgins. That's one of the weird cultural things. Everyone assumes you've been sleeping together for months or years. So they see your honeymoon as far less of a big deal than you do. Happy you're still enjoying each other. I'm a couple decades out so behind you. But hopefully on the same track. The very first time was difficult to figure out. I'm really glad that I read what your mother never told you about sex by Hilda Hutcherson in The Joy of Sex by Alex Comfort before attempting physical intimacy. Instead of being weirded out or scared, my husband and I had a lot of fun figuring out how each other worked and how we work together. We're coming up on our 15th anniversary and still enjoy each other. Since we waited so long we decided to just go all in. Anal, both for me and pegging him. 69, ball gags, restraints, dirty talk, slapping, choking, you get the picture. It lasted like 8 hours straight. He said, I've never come so much in my entire life. Personally I think I only came once or twice. We are devout Catholics but once you're married it's all fair game. After we were done we slept for like 18 hours straight with brief wake-ups to have sex again. After that night I'd say our love life went back to a bit more vanilla. Now we have three kids and probably have sex once or twice a week. I'm glad we decided to be so uninhibited. It really brought us together. I'll still whip out the strap on from time to time. I don't know why this is so funny but I couldn't stop laughing reading this. I'm just imagining two Midwestern church folk having an insane 8 hour fuckfest with sound effects out of absolutely nowhere and then cutting back to the vanilla lifestyle like nothing out of the ordinary happened. Lots of freaky Catholics in this thread. XD good for you guys. That's our secret. Should I use a serious tag, but used a condom but didn't have lube. Couldn't get it in and kept losing the erection. Once we had lube it still took a few tries to really maintain the erection and have both parties. Orgas monsieur. So, yeah, it took a couple months of trying before we were performing successfully consistently. I don't really regret waiting. My wife was really stressed out about the initial failures but I was okay. I didn't marry her for the benefit of getting sex out of it plus we had done over the clothes stuff before so it wasn't like we had never made each other orgasm before. I'd be interested to see if there are similar responses with people that bought cars without test driving. I noticed a horrible smell the moment I got in, and the entire ride was really unpleasant. On top of that, since that day, I've noticed some leaking fluid. It was awesome but were banned from that church. How disappointed were you? disappointed it was terrible she was terrible the reasons for waiting for terrible pretty much everything was just terrible dude what even happened they had sex they had terrible sex my first time was amazing we did other things before marriage but our wedding night was awesome and weird at the same time other things like anal we have never done anal but we would do oral play why brother are you disappointed my brother and his now wife were both virgins till they got married and I haven't seen them since their wedding April 18th, 2020 but they haven't called the family since then so I think they're okay a lol. Social distance wedding too by the way before some jerkwad wants to say something. You haven't heard from them in 12 days? You might want to send them some Gatorade or something.
Both my wife and I were virgins at age 25. In hindsight, the wedding night sucked. Firstly, we were too tired from a very long day. Secondly, she knew nothing and I mean nothing. Sex was a dirty, filthy, reprehensible, and evil thing in her home growing up. I really wish there were more conversations about it beforehand so I knew where her headspace was. At concerning intimacy, for me, I wish I had not waited till marriage. I feel it wasn't worth it. The first time was very fast. I had seen all the movies and heard all the stories from friends about it lasting an hour or more. So I had been beyond pumped all through my wedding day thinking, I'm finally getting him tonight. And then the whole thing lasted maybe 10 or 15 minutes, haha. I can't blame High Monsieur he had been holding back for years. It was physically awkward because we didn't know how to position things. But emotionally and mentally it was definitely worth the wait. He's the best. And even years later he knows how to treat me right. Wife and I were both virgins until our wedding night. I was 27, she 23. It was incredibly emotional and joyous. Years and years of saving ourselves for our future spouse. All peaks at this moment. I texted my friends the next day to encourage them to do the same. Sex the first year was decent. Honestly we were halfway shy. Five years and two kids later. The sex is incredible. Better each year. 100% worth it. It was a thing we did. But I have a horrendously low sex drive so it's not something I need or crave at all. I think everyone's first time is a disappointment. Why is this question asked every week? And who keeps up voting it? That spelling though. Not great. After four and a half a year of dating and saying no it's not so easy to just overcome all that Christian. Conditioning and turn it on. Took a few days for intercourse to work and many years to overcome other inhibitions. Many many years later we overcame all the inhibitions and became swingers to explore all the fun we missed by staying virgins. Been 32 years now. Still going strong. My spouse and I are recovering evangelicals. We waited until we were married to live together and have sex I was 24 and he was 27. Our wedding night was nice. Neither of us knew what we were doing. So expectations were low for me. I knew it wasn't going to be mind-blowing, but it did feel nice. After we had sex I told him, that lasted longer than I thought. To which he responded with, well, it's not the first time I've touched my penis. Fast forward 10 years and things are great. I didn't let go of my guilt and shame around sex and pleasure until two years ago. I now orgasm on the reg. We communicate really well, and we try new things a lot. Two websites have helped me a lot through this. Scarletine and Dan Savage's podcast, advice column. Two tenths would not wait again if we could do it over. It wasn't bad honestly. Didn't last real long. But it was enjoyable. Definitely wasn't worth waiting for though. It was terrific. No regrets. My buddy legit married a church girlfriend who never had sex with him ever. She legitimately never did. He won't divorce her because his preacher, who is this girl's best friend's husband said it was more important to have a godly marriage than a happy marriage. He should divorce her. Maybe she thinks sex is a sin even in marriage and that's not how it goes. Sex is an important aspect in a marriage and without it some marriages just don't work. Have they tried couples counseling? I come down her face by massive accident. I wanted to hold it in and go longer so pulled out and tried to resist but as I learned in my wanking years it just created a massive burst which went on her. It's sadly the only time I've ever done it to her. Ha ha ha. My dad drove us to the hotel in the Jaguar we hired which was really funny and awkward. I was drunk and wanted to wait till morning but husband insisted we did it that night. It hurt but it was quick. We did it a lot over the honeymoon and it hurt every time. I had to have an operation to remove my vestibule, so now it's tolerable but still. Meh, this sexy people of Reddit what is that the sexiest sex you've ever sex circle jerk is getting. Annoying. Find original content.
I decay if anyone has brought it up yet, but how would they know to be disappointed if they have nothing else to compare it to? Bliss by ignorance. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.